Here is a question from Jasjot. A ship is moving against the river flow at a speed of 25 km per hour. Flow of river is 5 km per hour. The ship moves for 4 hours against the flow. Now, I am sure you understand what is meant by against, right? Against the flow would mean upstream, right? With the flow. Along with the flow would mean downstream. Now, the air flow becomes favorable and add to the net velocity by 2 km per hour. The ship flows for one hour with a favorable flow and finally reaches shore. What is the average speed? Now, average speed, like we all know, average speed is in simple words, total distance by total time. So we have to find out the total distance covered by the ship divided by the total time, right? Do not take average speed as average of speeds. We have discussed this very clearly. Average speed is not the average of speeds. Average speed is always total distance traveled by total time. I think total time is very simple. It travels for four hours against the flow it travels for one hour with the flow. So total time is four plus one, five hours. Yes or no? See, the ship is moving against the river flow at a speed of 25. The flow of the river is five. So can you tell me what is the upstream speed? 25 minus five, which is 20 kilometers per hour. Right, this is upstream speed. Now the ship moves for four hours against the flow. Right, so one piece of time is four hours. After that, the airflow becomes favorable and speed changes. The ship flows for one hour with the favorable flow, right? Not flows actually, ship moves for one hour. What do you mean by flows? Ship moves for one hour with the favorable flow and finally reaches the shore. Now the important point to be noted is how the speed is changing. Upstream speed is 20 is fine. After that, the air flow becomes favorable and adds to the net velocity by two kilometers per hour. Understand? When the flow became favorable, before the flow was favorable, the ship was moving at what speed? 20 km per hour. After the flow became favorable, the downstream speed, what happened? It added to the net velocity. So the net velocity is 20. Net velocity means what? The final velocity. Before the flow changed, before the flow became favorable, the ship was moving at 20. And the air flow becomes favorable and adds 2 km per hour to the already net velocity. So now downstream speed will be 20 kilometers per hour. If you take the downstream speed here in this case as 25 plus 2, it would be wrong. See, usually we say downstream speed is speed of the ship plus the speed of the stream or air flow. I mean, whatever this thing it is, right? Already the ship was moving at 25. The flow of river is 5. So upstream speed is very simple. 25 minus 5, 20. The ship was running at this speed for four hours. The airflow becomes favorable. Airflow becomes favorable, meaning it's not the river flow. The air is now helping the ship move faster and it adds to the speed of speed by two kilometer per hour. So the speed originally was 20. Now, because of the favorable airflow, the uh, speed has become 22. It adds two kilometers, right? Don't take 25 plus two. It's not the downstream. It's not that the ship is going downstream, understand? I mean, strictly speaking, I should not be writing SD also. It's not downstream. It's with favorable flow. With the favorable flow. SD would be, downstream speed will be 25 plus 5 actually. Right? But we are not looking at the downstream speed here. It's about upstream only, but the flow became favorable. And at that speed, the ship moved for 1 hour. So, at that speed, it, I mean, at 20 kilometers per hour, it ran for 4 hours. And here it ran for 1 hour. Yeah? So what's the total distance? See, uh, total distance is how much? Total distance is speed into time. So 20 into 4 plus 22 into 1. And total time is what? 4 plus 1. Simplify this. Average speed. So 80 plus 22, 102 by 5, it should be 20.4 kilometers per hour. 20.4 is the answer. 20.4 kilometers per hour. Option or options are not there, but whatever that is, whichever option it is, 20.4 will be the answer. And just so it's also here. I hope you have understood this. Good. I think just so we have solved at least two or three questions that were posted by you. I think this is the second one or third one. Yeah. Be careful. The airflow became favorable. It's not that the ship turned and started moving downstream. The ship is going upstream only. The airflow added to its speed by 2 km per hour.